What is going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So today we're going to be talking about my top five most anticipated pre-orders of 2024. So I don't have nearly as many pre-orders as I normally do because I'm obviously in the finishing, you know, lap of me in the collecting world, you know, and my hopes are when I complete all my pre-orders that I'm officially out. No, that's the goal, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, so I don't have, you know, like in the last 10 years, I always had like 20 to 30 pre-orders, you know, where right now when I look at my pre-order log, you know, not including what's in transit, I only have like 13 statues, you know, and of which several are not even going to come out next year. Like, you know, Prime One's uh, Arnold and endoskeleton and then their t1000 eventually those are all 2025 so we can't include them on the list so we're going to go ahead and talk about what is definitely going to be arriving during the year uh so we'll go in order actually let me check one piece i need to see when it's releasing <laughs> i'm like i can't even remember because sometimes they put these pre-orders dates out so far Okay, this one has the potential, so we'll definitely include it. It says December 2024 to March. So, yeah, we can include that then. Okay. So. All right, so I'm not going to include anything in transit. These are just pre-orders, not shipped. So, number five is going to be Sume Frieza. Now, I'm still not 100% a believer that this will actually even ship to me during the year of 2024. They have shown some production units. However, I did order through a retailer, and this particular retailer does get these items extremely late. Like, I still don't have my Goku vs. Vegeta 1 6 scale, which I actually sold, and that's been released for over a year now. So... I don't, I'm probably actually going to buy this separate and then sell my pre-order or just say screw it, lose the deposit so I can get this. Like I'll probably go order this through Resin GK the moment he can get me one. Just because I really do want this Frieza statue. I think it's going to be one of the best Dragon Ball Z statues ever made. At least single character. I, it hasn't officially been up for pre-order, but it will definitely make my list is KD Z Warriors, which is set to go up for PO within the next, you know, ideally few weeks, he told me. You know, and I've already seen, like, some images he's, you know, he's shown me, and it looks damn good. It's going to be a freaking grail, I can say that. So I'm very excited for Z Warriors. I think that will probably be the single best. I think, you know, that could probably top Prime 1 Goku just because it has nine characters. So I think that will be the best DBZ statue ever made, just due to the nature of nine characters. But single statues, right now it's still Prime 1 Goku for me, but this has potential to beat it. Next one, uh, Link. This finishes my Zelda collection. Uh, you know, I have a big empty spot waiting for this. And I'm more excited for this than Frieza. I think Frieza is a better statue, but... With the way Sume delivers things, taking like nearly five plus years to deliver statues, it makes the excitement level very low. You know, I don't get excited for Sume until I actually get a tracking number. Just because, man, alive, they take so long to deliver. It's very frustrating pre-ordering from them. This bad boy is set to ship in January, I hear. January or Feb. So I'm hoping it could ship out before Chinese New Year. You know, mine will be DHL shipped. Very excited for this. I love their Majora's Mask, Skull Kid, and Kid Link. So very stoked for this. So that is number four. Number three, oh, not that, not that, Gandalf. So this is set to ship during the year. This is my final Lord of the Rings piece from the collection. You know, unless they do a Sadoman. But this one is going to be the best one-fourth of them all, in my opinion. You know, outside of Sauron, but extremely excited to get this one. So that's number three. Number two, it's going to be Aliens FX Predator Bust. This isn't my exact one. Mine will be better than this. Mine has more body here, more arm on each side. It's an updated sculpt where it's a little bit bigger. And it will include the med pack, will include the helmet. 
you know, and I, it's going to have a base, like a jungle themed base with a logo. It's going to have a max skull, a scorpion, a dog tag, you know, it's going to be a true grail. Now I don't have an exact date of when I'll get this. Uh, initially he told me second week of December, which is technically now, but it's not ready yet. He's doing like a second layer of painting. I'm guessing this will probably be ready end of this month or, you know, early January. I'm hoping we'll see, but I don't think I'll receive it this year. I think it'll be like January. I'll get it, but extremely excited for this. I should have ordered this years ago. I never did. I was kind of holding out, hoping prime one or queen or infinity would make a ultimate predator you know bust but doesn't seem that's going to happen anytime soon i'm sick of waiting i want a jungle hunter bust so we're getting this uh now my most anticipated statue of the year and probably of all my pre-orders is oh wait, actually sparked that uh second uh one is going to be joel and ellie i am extremely excited for that wait am i off track anyways this is the next one i'm most anticipating you know joel and ellie prime one i think this is the best video game statue ever made by them and i'm extremely excited it shows it could be shipping end of next year so fingers crossed that does happen but my most anticipated is my kratos bust so you know it's currently like he just made the mold he showed a picture of him holding the this <laughs> oh my gosh folks let me show this to you Check out how big this is. Jupiter's freaking cock. Can you imagine just how big this bust is going to be? You know, it's in the mold process. So check that out. You know, there it is coming out of the, you know, like he's making the mold, casting this in silicone. It's going to have acrylic teeth, hand punched hair, glass eyes. You know, the arms will attach here. It'll have swap out arms going to have real leather armor this thing is going to be an absolute grail we're also using dragon skin silicone which is the highest possible quality of silicone known to man so yeah this kratos bus i'm telling you is going to be the best of them all you know it's going to be the best and i think once i get my prototype in all the people who were you know, kind of sitting on the fence whether they should order this or not are going to be severely regretting passing it up when I was offering it to them, you know, for 5500 Again, there's really only going to be eight made. And last I heard, there's only three left. And I'm very confident the moment, the moment I show you guys the prototype, it's going to be instant sellout. And in the aftermarket, it'll cost double. And, you know, for me, it'll be a lifer. And I'm sure for most it will be. So it'll be pretty much impossible to obtain. And the likelihood of us ever getting a high-end Kratos bus like this again, I would say is extremely slim to none. You know, and even if, even if like Queen did it, I doubt they'd do it with arms and the Blades of Chaos and as epic as mine's going to be. Anyways, folks, that is pretty much it for, you know, my top five most anticipated of course, if we're talking 2025, then we got to include the Blitzway Predator or <laughs> Blitzway Endoskeleton and Arnold and T1000. You know, those are going to be my most anticipated that year and probably the only statue shipping that year. I do technically also have Berserker Predator on pre order from Prime One. I'm just not sure I'm going to keep it or not. It's kind of going to be kind of like this. Depending on my situation at that time when I get shipping notice and my money situation, like money, space situation, how things are going on in life, will determine if I get it. You know, yes, I want it. I think it's a grail. But it's really tough. Like those Prime 1 Predators are just so big and hard to display. And they look out of scale with everything. So it's just like, man. You know, part of me wants to just sell the Jungle Hunter and just keep the Cinema Cat and just call it a day. Another part just wants me to clutter my middle room and do Berserker and Wolf in the mid room and just say, F it. Who cares if it's cluttered their grails? You know what I mean? So, you know, if I was to, let's say, keep that, it would definitely be number two on the list, I think. 
Anyways, I just got tracking for two Dragon Ball Z statues, DHL. Uh, so both of those should arrive next week, I would think, or maybe even later this week. Uh, KD Androids, which is going to go right there. For now, until we get Z Warriors, Z Warriors will eventually go there. But yeah, KD Androids, I'm going to put it top shelf for now. I think it'll look fan freaking tastic there. As well as Revenge Studio Frieza. When that comes in, I'm going to replace KD back there and do Revenge Studio Frieza there. And it's more or less going to be like a placeholder until we get, you know, Sume, which again could be years. But we're going to get that and see how it is. You know, it looks great. Uh, people really like it. It has the correct, you know, colors, spaceship base. I've seen some photos of it next to that and it does look good. So excited to get that in and see how it looks. You know, so eventually either Revenge or KD will have to exit the collection once we do get Sume in. But until then, we'll go ahead and enjoy it. You know, the DBZ will in essence look complete once we get those until we get Z Warriors and of course Tian Shinhan and Go Tanks, which I ordered. You know, we'll throw Go Tanks right there. But yeah, and Thorbus, I'm still waiting for it to be shipped. Uh, it's supposed to ship this week though, DHL. Once it does, I'll have it next week. That is it though, folks. Let me know what you guys think. What's your top five most anticipated next year, or at least your most anticipated? And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.